welcome to the Beachcomber Resort in Fiji. In this video, we are going to show you what a day in the life looks like on the Beachcomber Island Resorts. Beachcomber Island is part of the Mamanuka Island Group just west of Nandi. Let's start with what our first day looked like. So if you arrive early in the morning. We just checked into our Beachcomber ferry. It cost 99 Fijian dollars per person one way. We could leave our bags there so we can walk around for dinner hour for a little bit. And this place is so nice. Oh, it's so beautiful. The sun on our face. I just want to swim. Fiji is reminding me quite a bit of Durban, where we come from, with all the spices and the Indian influence. Yeah. It's really cool. We just went into a little convenience store. The variety of chutneys. Oh, oh my word. <laughs> We're in the shops again. Craig's always getting shirts. <laughs> Prices are pretty similar to New Zealand, maybe a little bit lower. If we traveled on Rands, it would have been so hectic. We'd well, be very grateful. Tourist, <laughs> this is cheaper than a beer in New Zealand. It was pretty cool that we had about an hour to walk around for dinner out. We are heading back to Beachcomber's little kiosk. Uh, kiosk so we can catch our boat. We're so excited to get on the water. We're on the boat about to head out to sea. I think it's going to be like 30 minutes or 40 minutes. I actually have no idea, but the longer the better. <laughs> We could not have asked for a better welcome to Beach Homer Island. They're singing for us, the sun is out, and the water cannot be bluer. I'm so excited, it's four nights in Beach Homer. This is us for four nights. Four nights. Ah. I can't believe this. And if you are spending a few days here like we did, then this is what the day in the life would look like. <laughs> Enjoy. So after morning coffee on the beach, we head out to breakfast, which is served between 7 and 9 in the morning. Our bureau is located on the southern side. Breakfast is served in the main area of the island where we arrived, which is more or less the eastern side. Everything inside of the island is connected with these beach sand pathways, which you're probably going to see a lot in this video. I know the light isn't great, but they have papaya and we haven't had it since getting to New Zealand. <laughs> Yum! Mm. After breakfast, which is just there, we head over to these sunbeds and we spend some time tanning and swimming and just relaxing. It is time though for us to get some new towels, so we're just going to head to reception and switch the ones that we have for new ones. Got our beach towels, let's go to the beach. <laughs> 
we tried to book a tour but unfortunately there is a minimum amount of people they need for so we couldn't go on any tours on this trip but no. we're not complaining because we get to spend time yeah Also, the nice thing is you can hire kayaks and you can go on your own little tour like we did yesterday. We are off to go and get, pick up our kayak so that we can paddle across to a neighboring island called Treasure Island. Quick heads up to the Travel Kiwi, Megan and Anna's video. That's where we saw all these cool things. So go check out their channel as well. Let's go. So just to the side of the main building, there's a pool and you can do various activities here. You can book your diving. You can also pick up your snorkels, your kayaks, everything from this point. So that is Beach Coma Island behind us and then we are going to Treasure Island over there. That was really not bad. It took 15 minutes. 1.2 kilometers we did. Craig paying a $10 landing fee because we came with the kayaks. I saw they have a coffee machine. Our resort doesn't have a coffee machine. So even though I'm getting really hot, I ordered a flat white. And you? Uh, it's hot. So there's only one thing I need right now and it's a beer. <laughs> so, and a swim. We just spent three amazing hours on Treasure Island. It's just really beautiful and this infinity pool is stunning. The weather is perfect. The prices here are just a little bit more than on beach coma. We're going to head back to our kayak, which is still down on the beach, hopefully. A lot easier to get in for you now. <laughs> yeah. Paddle for you. <laughs> there. Great communication. <laughs> the service here is incredible. That is the ferry that we came to this island on. And here we back at our island. For now we're on our way to lunch, which is served between one and two every day. To our left there's a shop <laughs> and the section. And the beach bar. <laughs> we have a big board here with daily activities and prices of everything. They are the eating time. We are in the dining area where they serve breakfast, lunch and dinner on the sea sand and it's a buffet so you get much you like. Really good. It was like a beach barbecue almost with nice chicken and lamb and it was great. <laughs> so good. It's going to be so hard putting shoes on again. One day. The sand is a little bit rough because there's pieces of coral in, so I walk with <laughs> beautiful booties. It's more on the beach, they've, they've cleaned the coral out of the pathways, which is quite nice. They've put a bucket of water here so you can clean your feet before you go back inside. Yeah, I think they clean it out. Yep, they've cleaned it out for us. So. Welcome to our bureau. No, bureau, is it? Bureau. Welcome to our bureau. Bure, I don't know. Welcome to our beach hut. <laughs> so we have stayed in our beach beret for two nights already. <laughs> it feels like a lot longer. So now that we've lived in it for a little bit, I thought we'd give you a room to her now. So excuse the mess. Massive double bed. They have lights and a plug by the bed. Okay, it's not right by the bed, but it's close enough. Bathroom is more like a wet room. We have another basin. We have our duty free bar that we set up. <laughs> There's another bed here and a sitting area which we've moved around. 
So this unit doesn't have an aircon, it's got two fans, which is pretty potent because the other night I actually needed extra cover because I was getting cold and they do have extra like thin blankets in the cupboard which was enough and there's no duvets on the bed, it's also just thin sheets. Another thing that's really nice is this mosquito netting as windows so you can hear the ocean at night um, but you could also close close these shutters or leave them open and the bugs don't come in. We hardly spend time in the room because we're out on the beach the whole time but it's very comfortable like it's very spacious in here. And the best part of all is how close it is to the ocean. So we have our little patio or porch with two sun beds and our own pathway directly down to the beach. And oh, yeah. with my favorite part, the hammock. <laughs> <laughs> Try to go out a bit different. Uh, there we go, that's better. This resort includes a free like snorkeling and fish feeding trip twice a day. So that's what we're going on now. In the afternoons after the snorkeling trip, we would either go to the main beach, which was still swimmable during low tide, and just relax in the water or on the sunbeds, and maybe have a cocktail or two. I'm having a cocktail in the most beautiful colored water. Or we would head back to the Bure, which if you haven't been able to figure it out yet, is a Fijian hut where we stayed, and we'd relax on our patio or in the hammock. We also took a sunset walk around the island a couple of times. Walking around the island takes about 10 minutes. It's gonna take us a bit longer because we're taking photos and videos and we are also looking at the sunset. This is the western side of the island and they have these apartments. They must have beautiful sunset views. <laughs> dinner is served between seven and eight and our daily ritual has been to go down a little bit early maybe 6 6 30 for some pre-drinks at the beach bar so that's where we're off to now let's go we've been really lucky with a full moon during our time in fiji it's been rising right over there it's made our evenings really special I can't see the ocean now because it's dark. As long as my toes are on the sand, it's amazing. Yeah. Tonight we should have karaoke. But, uh, we will have limo. Just after dinner every night, one of the staff members comes and welcomes everyone and also tells us what the activity is for the evening. Last night there was a dancing competition and then we all also learned the Brilla dance. Left, left, right, right. Left, left, right, 
right, roll it to the left, roll it to the right, roll it to the left, roll it to the right. Shoulder, shoulder. In the evenings, we've really been enjoying coming back to our puree and heading outside and sitting on the hammock, having some of our duty-free Baileys. And then we also got some Oreos for dessert. So that is what we're gonna do now. Our time here at Beachcomber has come to an end. We've had the most amazing time. <laughs> it's honestly like a dream, just being on this island. I ended my last day with a massage and I could hear the ocean because the massage hut was on the beach. But we have another adventure to go to, so let's do it. Let's go. <laughs> Bye. Bye. <laughs> Is yeah. it recording? Yeah, it's recording. <laughs> you look like a tiny man there in the back. I'm sitting. <laughs> Ow. What if we're the only people here? So reception is closed. Welcome to our beachfront beret 